I asked these Rocket League streamers what their favorite drinks are. Minute Maid, Pink Lemonade, Zero Sugar. Red Bull. I love Red Bull. Water, okay? And today I'm going to be taste testing and ranking their favorite drinks to determine which Rocket League streamer has the best taste. Pause. And here is our tier list with all said drinks on it. Let's do this. I say, what's your favorite drink? Dr. Pepper is really good. Now, if I'm going out to a restaurant and I'm ordering a soda, a Dr. Pepper is about the last thing that I think of. I like literally can't even remember the taste of, of Dr. Pepper. Pop. Piss and shit. This is off to an awful start. Shit got mad when I said that I usually don't pick Dr. Pepper. Mm, I will say the smell of Dr. Pepper is quite nice. I've never done a taste testing video. This is weird. I don't know how to do this. I can barely taste it. Do I have the Rona? I mean, the taste is okay. I can like barely taste it. It's like seriously the last soda I'd probably get if I'm going out to a restaurant Bes besides like Sprite because Sprite is like kind of kind of boring. I don't know. First drink, we'll drop it in C tier. I mean, it's okay. On an average day, what's your favorite drink? A lime Gatorade for sure. I ain't gonna lie. If I've ever had a lime Gatorade before, I had to have been like 12 years old. Let's start a war in the comments. Gatorade or Powerade? Which is better? I'm more of a Powerade lover myself, but I don't know. I, that's just me. I feel like Powerade doesn't build up as much saliva as Gatorade does. Mmm, the smell of, dude, lime. Like, I'm a huge fan of Prime's lime flavor, their hydration drink. Hate all you want. I don't give a shit. Ugh, it's like really watered down. What the f what the flip? Like it, it literally tastes like they filled this whole thing up with water and put about half a lime into this. That's actually disgusting. I'm not even lying. This is gr this is actually probably the worst the worst Gatorade slash Powerade flavor I've ever had in my life. Wow, yeah, that's easily so far. Uh, uh you know what? I'll, I'll drop it in D just because I like I like the the flavor of lime. I think it is nice. It's just like super watered down. Maybe it's just this one specifically. I really thought I was going to like that flavor. I'm not lying. On an average day, what is my favorite drink? I drink a lot of Gatorade. Which flavor? The white cherry one's my favorite. So either Don was wrong or I was wrong because it's actually not a Gatorade white cherry flavor. There's a Gatorade uh, glacier flavor or something like that. And then Powerade has the white cherry flavor. So I, I was, just, I assume he, he means Powerade maybe. I don't know, but I'm a Powerade lover. I, I used to drink Powerade all the time when I was in baseball. And I believe white cherry, like I think my top two were orange and white cherry. I think white cherry was in a close second, but it's been a while since I've, I've drank one. So I'm, 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 I'm excited for this. Also the red and black over the white. Oh, clean. Also the way this bottle feels like the, the little inseams, like we can place your fingers. Oh my God. It's like, it's like the best drink handle grip ever it smells like the last day of school right before you get out on summer break it's exactly what it smells like oh dude am i sick i can't taste i, I can't taste any of these wow this is kind of disappointing i can't really taste it but i will say this the flavor that is there is is good i just like i can't taste any of these i don't know if they're watered down or like or if i have the bovid white cherry uh definitely better than than lime gatorade i can promise you yeah i don't know with this one uh specifically it's just like i don't know wasn't really good. I'm gonna put it at the top of C tier. We'll put it right above Dr. Pepper. On an average day, what's my favorite drink? Water. Nah, I mean, realistically, bro, it'd be like Celsius. And I know it's not good, but like, I like it. I got into energy drinks about like a little over a year ago. Celsius is one that I have never had. The main reason is that I heard this drink is just like the worst thing on this planet, apparently. I don't know why people think it's the worst drink ever. I don't know what's in it. I mean, I can see what's in it. I mean, literally every nutrition section on this thing is like a hundred percent plus which is is just not really a good thing but this is 200 caffeine i also have like another four energy drinks over here as well that we're going to get to uh later in this video so i'm going to try not to drink a lot of this because i don't really want to down four energy drinks in one day also i went with orange he didn't give me a flavor but i would assume this is like the og basic flavor Oh my God, that's easily the worst smelling drink I have ever smelled besides alcohol. Ew, why does it smell like that? Wow, the taste is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Wow, I, I know I have my taste because this is very flavorful. The smell of it is just absolutely atrocious. I can't believe it actually tastes 
somewhat decent. It smells like a college party and it tastes like that orange medicine that you would drink. What, what was it? It was like, a, a, it was an orange flavor. I don't know what's wrong with your taste buds tenacity. I'm putting this in like, yeah, I'm putting this in D. Yeah, just not good. The only saving grace for this drink is just the flavor of orange. That's that's literally it. What's my favorite drink? I'd say Pepsi right now. All right, let's start another war in the comment section. Coke or Pepsi? I personally don't really know the difference. I can't tell you the amount of times I've had Pepsi in my life, probably less than 10. Now, I'm not really a big fan of Coke. It's just kind of like, it doesn't have a definable like taste. You know, it's just Coke. It's just like the base soda. It doesn't really have a taste other than just Coke. And I think Pepsi is like basically the same way. The smell is, is quite okay. Definitely better than Coke, but it's still just like, it, it doesn't taste like anything besides just like whatever the hell Coke is. It literally just tastes like sodium, sugar, and water mixed together. That's all it tastes like. Compared to the Dr. Pepper that I drank earlier, which had Literally no taste. Um, I'm gonna put Pepsi. Where the hell is Pepsi? Oh, there it is. I'll put Pepsi in a B tier, baby. Let's go, Pepsi. Good shit. I've also noticed like a lot of restaurants around me, they've been actually like removing Coke and either replacing or leaving Pepsi in their like on their menu or their like refill station, their self-serve station. I can see why it tastes tastes better than Coke, but it's I mean, it's okay. It's, 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 it's okay. On an average day, what's your favorite drink? <gasps> Minute Maid Pink Lemonade Zero Sugar. Minute Maid Pink Lemonade Zero Sugar. Minute Maid Pink Lemonade. Minute Maid, Minute Maid, Minute Maid. I'm not sponsored. Spood was a little excited for this one. This better not let me down, okay? Because I, I've been excited to drink this since, since he told me that. Since he said this was his favorite drink. I've been very excited because it sounds like it's very good. And honestly, I, I'm okay. I, I like lemonade. It's okay. It's not the best drink ever. Especially like a watered down lemonade. That shit's ass. But like a good sugary, flavorful, sweet lemonade. I'm down for that. I will say between like yellow lemonade and pink lemonade, I think I definitely like pink lemonade more. All right, Spoon, this better be good because I've been incredibly excited to, to drink this. Ooh, the smell. I like the smell. A lot of these make me feel like I'm outside, which is what I love. I love feeling like I'm outside on a, on a nice summer day. Um, I'm gonna be quite honest. That is not as good as I was uh, expecting. I respect it. I would, I I'm gonna put it like, I'll put it bottom of B tier. Okay, I'll be quite honest. It's not, it's not a bad drink. It's actually a good drink. I just expected it to be a lot better than that because I was expecting it to be like very, very, very sweet and a lot of flavor. And it was kind of more like dialed back, more of like a normal pink lemonade flavor. I need, I need to taste test it again. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, if I'm sitting outside eating a dinner on my back porch, looking out into, you know, the neighbor's backyard, it's okay. I actually like, I think it's okay. On an average day, what's your favorite drink? I like Diet Coke. I don't care. Fuck. I don't like Coke. I'm not gonna like Diet Coke. I just, I know it. What's even the difference? Is there even a difference in the taste? I'm sure there is. No sugar, no calories. If there's no sugar, it definitely does not taste like normal Coke. Because normal Coke has like a shitload of salt in it. Or not salt, sugar. Oh my God. It'd fucking dried out like a fucking beach whale if it had that much salt in it. I know I've tasted a Diet Coke before. I think I've drank one. I just, I had to have been really desperate to drink one of these. And also, isn't diet supposed to be like healthier? Is it really, is it, I mean, I'm sure it's healthier, but is it like, it's not healthy, surely not. Also, this packaging design looks like ass. Gray, who the, f who wants gray? Who asked for this? Make it like white. White would have been so much cooler, white and red. With like a dark, like brownish black background. No, they went with gray. Who the hell designed this? And a gray cap? Like make it white. Diet Coke would be so much cooler if it was white instead of gray. You freaking idiots. Can I open this shit? Ooh, when the cap gets stuck to the uh, the part that like it screws onto. Oh my God. And then it lifts it up and then it does this shit. And now it's like stuck and I have to basically rip my fingernail off to try to get it back down. Fuck it, I don't care. I'm leaving it. Yeah, it smells like Coke. It tastes like Coke with like a splash of water in it, right? Like a little a little watered down with like a mix of Dr. Pepper. Maybe it's because I just had Dr. Pepper, but it tastes like Coke mixed with Dr. Pepper. Wow, I can't believe I'm about to do this, but I think I'm actually ranking this above Dr. Pepper. 
what the hell is wrong with me? Do I want to place it above Pepsi? Ooh, dude, why Why did this shit actually slap, dude? I'm gonna put it right below Pepsi. I think Pepsi is a, a tad bit better. But Diet Coke, man, what the hell? This shit's like way better than I thought. It's not good for you, but I mean, it's diet, which is obviously better for you, right? No. On average day, what's your favorite drink? I usually just drink water. I mean, when I do drink energy drinks, it's probably gonna be Red Bull. Which flavor? I like the, I think it's called Tropical. We're five drinks in and I already have to go to the bathroom and my stomach is starting to not feel good. All right, here we are with Red Bull. I am not really a big fan of Red Bull. I've had the OG, I've had um, the coconut one, which my girlfriend really likes. I didn't really like either of them. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. This is called tropical. I would assume this is gonna taste like probably a bunch of different berries or something like that. I don't, I don't fucking know. 38 grams of sugar, yikes. Ingredients, colors. Wow, it's sad that like 80% of the ingredients I actually have like never seen in my life. And it's sad because that's how like most drinks are. You look at the ingredients, you're like, what the hell is glycerol ester of wood rosin? What the fuck is that? This video is teaching me that I need to look at my drinks a little more closely so that I can actually like not kill myself. Mmm, the, the smell is quite nice actually. Wow, it smells like, um, it smells like mango kind of. Tastes like a truly, it, it really does. It's actually not bad. It's kind of watered down. And also like, it's not very, um, I guess fizzy, like carbonated. It's more of a laid back kind of, kind of chill drink with I, which I kind of like actually. Ooh, do I put it above, above Dr. Pepper and Powerade? I'll put this top of C tier. I'm only putting it top of C tier instead of B tier because it's just kind of watered down. Kind of the flavor could be a little more there. If it had just a little more flavor, it honestly probably be like top of B tier. So far you Rockling streamers have not picked anything bussin dude. All these are, are mid. Come on, where's the good drinks? Bring them on. On an average day, what's your favorite drink? On an average day, I love water. I drink lots of water, try to stay healthy. If I had to pick something other than water, it would be sweet tea. Cause I am Southern and I do have a reputation to uphold. W pick, W choice. I absolutely love sweet tea. Now I didn't know which like kind of tea she was talking about. I just went with my, one of my personal favorites, uh, Gold Peak. Sweet tea, absolute W, are you kidding me? Back when I was like 12, 13 years old, something like that, every every other weekend, I would go hang out with my dad at his house for the weekend. He would always hook me up with like a case of sweet tea. It was either Gold Peak or whatever the fuck the other one is. What's the, what's the other one? Pure Leaf, yes, yes. I think Pure Leaf was actually the one that he usually, he usually got me. I do not drink sweet tea that much anymore. It's actually, it's got a shitload of sugar, I believe. Yeah, 48 grams. Yeah, sweet tea is not very healthy, but it is a very good drink. It tastes very good. Also, I'm excited to drink all these like in my own time off off recording this i'm set for the next week or so with with drinks this drink is amazing dude fucking ass here dude so good it's so good the only thing somewhat bad with this drink is the aftertaste and like i don't care about the aftertaste i like the aftertaste so this is just an absolute S tier drink. Oh my God, I'll have to go and try Pure Leaf because I, I haven't had sweet tea in like a while. It's been a minute. So I'll have to go and compare Pure Leaf to uh, Gold Peak to see which one is actually better. Or I can just make some like homemade tea. But dude, Gold Peak, sweet tea, top of the mountain right now. I don't know if anything's gonna beat it. Favorite drink though, probably cherry coke though, cherry vanilla. Now this is another drink that I am actually very excited to taste. I have never had cherry coke, or actually no, I have had cherry coke. I've never had vanilla cherry vanilla coke. I don't really like original coke that much, but this could be fire. This could be a bussin drink. 65 grams of sugar. Oh God, every time I feel like it's gonna explode. Dude, that is the best smelling drink I have smelled I think in my life. Oh my God, that smells so good. If this does not hit, I'm getting blue balls. Dude, like I want this as a Sensi. Actually, I hope I don't like this because Coke is not good for you. I really hope I don't like this drink. Ooh. Oh, baby, that's a fire drink. Damn, that's underrated, bro. Why have I like rarely ever heard of this? That's our first A tier drink. That is very good. That actually slaps. That is like a thousand times better than normal Coke. I'm not even kidding. That's so much better than normal Coke. I almost want to put that in S tier, but I feel like I just like, I don't deserve to put it in S tier. Like I, I just tasted it for the first time. I don't really deserve to put it in S tier, but that, that was a pretty good drink. On an average day, what's your favorite drink? 
water. Actually, lately, probably energy drinks. Rockstar. Again, I was not notified of the flavor that they like, but I just went with original. I feel like if you never know the flavor, you might as well just go off of the original. I have never had Rockstar. Honestly, looking at it, it I don't know why, just the look of it, it's giving me like coffee vibes. Like I'm honestly going into this drink expecting it to taste like coffee. It smells like another alcoholic beverage. Okay, well, I'm not expecting it to taste like coffee now because it, it smells fruity. It smells like a certain gummy snack. I guess Welch's, maybe it kind of smells like Welch's. It didn't have a glossy texture. It had like a, it had like more of a rough kind of texture to it. Oh, maybe it's these. Which ones are these? I think that is Welch's. Yeah, it might be Welch's that I'm thinking of. Wow, that is very, that is very sweet. That is incredibly sweet. It actually tastes pretty good. It's almost too sweet. I was complaining about it not being, like all these drinks not being sweet enough. That one's like too sweet. Damn, where do I put this? I would say this is bottom C. Definitely not D tier, but definitely, definitely not better than Dr. Pepper. And actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna put white cherry all the way at the bottom of C. I mean, that one at least that I tasted had like no flavor, dude. On an average day, what is your favorite drink? Water, okay? All you weird Mountain Dew, fucking rotted teeth, diabetic type two motherfuckers, stop drinking that goddamn sugary. Just drink water. Water. Drink some water. Goodness! It's the best drink. I mean, like, seriously, no challenge. Water is the best drink ever dude it's the healthiest the most refreshing it's what your body runs on and although it has no sweet taste no sour taste whatever taste you're looking for it's the best drink and you should prioritize water over any other drink period just how it is oh is that what your favorite go-to drink just say red bull red bull i love red bull he seemed kind of forced to say that i feel like he didn't want to admit that he liked red bull so again Going with the OG flavor because I just, I don't know what flavor they wanted. And from what I can remember, I don't like the OG flavor. But that was also like a year ago that I tried it. And you know, I actually think it's true that like our, our taste buds like evolve and change as the years go on. So maybe I'll like this. I don't know. 160 calories, 38 grams of sugar. This is only 114 caffeine. That's actually pretty, pretty dang good. Is it really only 114? This one, sm this, this smells exactly like the other one. This smells exactly like Rockstar. It smells the exact same. So from what I can tell, the original Red Bull is like a blue raspberry flavor. If I'm picking an energy drink or like any drink in general and blue raspberry is on the menu, that's like one of the last ones I'm getting. I'm not a very big fan of it. It tastes a lot like the Rockstar one though at the same time, but it tastes like almost like stale. It tastes like it was left out in the hot sun for a day and then like was refrigerated and like recooled. Yeah, we're gonna go in the top of D tier. Ugh, dude, I've burped like eight times throughout this video. I've drank so much. Like you look at these bottles and it's like, it looks like I haven't drank anything out of them. But I've basically drank a whole bottle of like awful shit so far. On an average day, what's your favorite drink besides water? Probably coffee and a protein shake. Or an A and W cream soda, zero sugar. All right, I'm very excited for this one. I am a root beer lover. Honestly, if I had a root beer, if I were to put my own drink on this list, root beer is probably my favorite and I would put it at the very top. This, however, is not root beer, I believe. It's cream soda. I don't exactly know what cream soda is, but we're gonna try it anyways. 290, that's the most calories we've had so far, is it not? 76 grams of sugar. Oh my God, this is death. Oh, also he said uh, zero sugar, but I'm a dumbass and didn't get zero sugar. So I just have the normal one. So yes, if this were the zero sugar one, this would be a lot healthier, not healthy necessarily, but it'd be a lot healthier. Bro, bro. Like right below the Coke cherry vanilla. This is the smell. Oh, baby, it smells good. It smells like vanilla. I feel like I'm gonna like pass out from smelling this so much. Tastes like my grandpa's old shop, which is surprising that I like that smell because it was more of like a smoky. Mmm, interesting. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like root beer at all, to be honest. I don't even know how to describe the taste, but it's like, it's it doesn't taste like root beer necessarily. Like maybe like a little tiny bit like root beer. I don't know, the, the taste is very interesting. I'm not against it, it's okay. Mmm, but where do I put it? I don't know. I don't know how to feel about the taste of it. It's not bad, it's not anything crazy good. I really don't know how to feel about it. I think I'm just gonna put it 
I'll put it above white chair Powerade. I would have to drink a few of these to like get a strong opinion on it. Cause it's like, it's a very new and, and strange flavor that I've never tasted before. On an average day, what's your favorite drink? I love it to indulge in a nice chalky milk. All right, this is where people's mouths start watering and they start getting on their knees because chalky milk is quite fire. Chocolate milk is pretty good. Let's be honest. Definitely an A tier drink at least. I haven't even tasted it yet and I know it's an A tier drink. So we said it has to be Hershey's syrup. I never make mine with Hershey's syrup, honestly. I always do the Nesquik powder. But dude, if you guys were to go back and watch my home videos from when I was like three years old, I'd be dancing, I'd be running around, I'd be in the bath doing stupid shit. And I would always have a glass of chocolate milk. I used to love chocolate milk. So Hershey's syrup, I don't know how much we're supposed to add. Also, was I supposed to pour this after pouring the milk in. I may have just made like a criminal uh, decision there with doing the Hershey syrup before the milk. I may have put a little bit too much chocolate in it, but but who cares? Fire. Fire. I don't even have to think. This is, this is top A tier. Top A tier, nope, nope, top A tier. The reason I don't put it higher is just cause like, after after like half a glass of chocolate milk, I'm like, all right, this is like, this is too much chocolate for me. Just a little too much, but dude, oh my God, takes me back. Oh, chocolate milk used to be probably my favorite drink. But if I had my favorite drink on here, it would just be some regular old white milk. Just the best thing ever. It's so good. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you guys agree with my tier list on these Rocket League streamers' favorite drinks. We didn't have a single one in F tier. I mean, Celsius was like definitely weird, but I didn't think it was like a god awful drink. The lime just had no taste and then Red Bull, I just don't really like blue raspberry. But all in all, these Rocket League streamers picked some pretty good drinks and I got introduced to a, a few new ones. I mean, the, the pink lemonade, the cherry vanilla Coke, which is fire by the way. Oh my God, how have I never had that drink before? Even Diet Coke was a shockingly good uh, soda. Like I, I was very shocked by that. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one.